It is now apparent that ties between Kirinyaga woman representative Wangoi Ngereshi and the DP-led United Democratic Alliance have been severed as Ngereshi claimed the party had shown betrayal and favoritism for her rival, Governor Ann Waiguru, appearing to lean towards contesting under an independent ticket. Ngereshi stated that Kirinyaga residents would not vote for a political party, but rather an individual who would transform their lives. Ngereshi's woes intensified following the decamping of Anne Waiguru from the Jubilee Party to the United Democratic Alliance, and it appears DP Ruto's assurances that the nominations will be free and fair is not reassuring enough. Chamutai Goin has the details of that report. <laughs> The Kirinyaga woman representative had pitched tent in Mwengeshugu constituencies where she donated foodstuff to the elderly from the areas. This part of her campaign as she seeks to dislodge Governor Anwai Goro from the Kirinyaga CEO post in the August 9th, 2022 general election. And I'm not stopping. I will be in every sub-county, every sub-location, every location, every village. I will tell everybody in Kirinyaga County that... It is not the party that matters, it is the individual that matters. Ngerishi not sparing the United Democratic Alliance, claiming it had shown preference for Anwai Guru, who was a late entrant to the party. <laughs> Girish is stating that Anwai Guru's move to ditch the Jubilee Party in favor of the DP Ruto led United Democratic Alliance was inconsequential for her bid to retain governorship. Watu wa Kirinyaga County ndio ambao wanaajiri na ndio wanafuta. Mnaajiri na mnafuta watu. Si ndio? Na wakati wa kufuta umekuja. Na wakati wa kuajiri unafika. This amid claims that unnamed senior officials in the party had implored her to shelve her gubernatorial ambitions and instead run for the Mwea parliamentary seat or retain her seat. During DP Ruto's tour of Kirinyaga County in late November, supporters of Ngereshi and Waigoro clashed, forcing police to intervene and restore calm. And seemingly aware of the looming nomination headache, DP Ruto stated that he will supervise the nominations and that no one would get special treatment. The only way to reward friends is not to give them a ticket. You can even give your friend a ticket, but if, 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 if he is not the popular candidate, it is useless. A ticket is useless to anybody. If he is not the popular candidate that moment, that party ticket is meaningless, right? So there are friends that we will never leave behind. She further alleged that she had spent 50 million shillings to secure the Jubilee Party ticket in 2017 and that once bitten, twice shy. And instead of spending much more to secure the UDA ticket, she would use her resources to improve the lives of the residents. Her statements now bound to star controversy as the race to 2022 gains momentum. Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.